Russia has made new claims about the shooting down of a Malaysian airliner over Ukraine in 2014. It says the missile, which hit flight MH17, was sent to Soviet Ukraine in the 1980s and never returned to Russia. This and other claims were made at a defence ministry briefing in Moscow on September the 17th. We are hoping that this time the Special Investigation Group will take into consideration the evidence that is presented to us today and will not be surprised in their credibility. The JIT, a Dutch-led international team, laid out a different version of events in May. It presented detailed evidence that the airliner was shot down by a Buk Tilar missile system brought from Russia into an area of Ukraine held by Russia-backed separatists. The joint investigation team concludes the Buk Tilar that shot down flight MH17 originates from the 53rd Brigade from Kursk in the Russian Federation. All 298 passengers and crew were killed when the jet was brought down. Russia has previously presented several other versions of events, earlier claiming the airliner was shot down by a Ukrainian warplane. The JIT referred to this in its response to the latest claims. The JIT has found that information from the Russian Ministry of Defense, previously presented to the public and provided to the JIT, was factually inaccurate on several points. An example is the alleged presence of a fighter plane in the vicinity of MH17 on radar imagery presented to the public at a press conference in July 2014. Many of the JIT's findings have been corroborated or supported by journalists and other independent investigators. They've been backed up by a large body of evidence gathered from social media posts. Roman Dobrachotov from Russian website The Insider said the Kremlin was deliberately seeking to sow confusion. То есть они как будто бы игнорируют 90% улик, которые уже 100% доказаны, и акцентируют внимание только на одной вещи, которая совершенно непроверяема, о том, что якобы эта ракета была в Украине и так далее, и так далее. Russia also presented what it said was an audio recording of a Ukrainian officer discussing the incident in 2016. A voice said, if things go on like this, we'll hit another Malaysian Boeing. But Elliot Higgins, founder of the British-based Bellingcat Open Source Investigative Unit, said it proved nothing. For all we know, it's a bunch of Russian actors pretending to be this, or, you know, it's you know out-of-context discussions. We've absolutely no way to know if the recording's genuine or not. MH17 was flying from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur and 189 of the victims were Dutch. The Dutch government responded to the new Russian claims by stating it had the utmost confidence in the JIT investigation. A senior Ukrainian official called them an awkward fake. <laughs>